Good morning, motherfucker. It's currently 11 in the morning, and I am back out here at the California Delta. And today I'm launching out of Paradise Point because it's a place that I am very familiar with. I didn't feel like uh, launching out of Sugar Barge. I was actually gonna launch out of Sugar Barge today, but I heard that it's just been tough out there lately and I'm not surprised because that area that Frank's tract area seems to be pretty pressured almost all the time so that's why I chose to fish out of paradise because it's a spot that I know very well and on top of that um, uh, well there's actually really no other reason I just wanted to fish today I just wanted to fish at paradise Today. I was actually thinking about going up to Berryessa, but then I changed my mind at the last minute because I was like, F that. I do not feel like driving for days to get to Berryessa because I hate driving up that long, winding, mountainous road. I hate that shit. So, you know, I chose to fish the Delta. So, yeah. Here I am. Also, I do apologize for the lack of consistency. I know I have not been uploading a lot of videos lately, and I'm really sorry about that. And the honest truth is that I'm just, I've just been really worn out lately. I've been worn out, I'm tired of fishing, and you know, I, I, can't, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually got a little tired of fishing because, you know, I enjoy fishing, don't get me wrong on that. But there are days where it's just super tough, super boring, and I just want to be at home and be a lazy f On top of that, I have a project that I'm working on, and I have to take care of a ton of personal things. And so, you know, I've just been super busy, super stressed, and again, super f worn out. So I am really sorry for not being consistent as of late, and I promise y'all, that starting next week, I will 100% sure be back on the horse and, you know, start uploading more videos more frequently and uh, go back to my regular uploading schedule, which is every Wednesday and Saturday. So bear with me, y'all. Just bear with me. It's currently low tide right now, and I'm going to throw the jig around for as long as possible, and hopefully I'll make some magic happen. We'll see what happens. Catch y'all in a second. Today's weather is absolutely f***ing perfect, there's no wind, and the water is super clear. I know y'all can't see anything, but with my Polaroid glasses, I can see the bottom, I can see all the structure and everything, and I actually spotted a couple fish. Most of them are dinks, but there was one decent one that cruised on by. And I'm hoping I can stick him on the jig, but he might have gotten spooked off. Because, you know, most of these fish are pussies, or all of these fish are typically pussies. When they see you, they dart off. This one. Oh, finally. Oh my God. Take a look at that, folks. First fish of the day. It's a dink. I worked three and a half hours for this little guy. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. I worked my ass off for this fish. Jesus Christ. I've actually spotted a couple more nice ones as I was cruising by this place and they just got so spooked man they swam away almost instantly and uh, you know I threw the drop shot through the chatterbait through the jig and they just they wouldn't touch it I don't know what's going on today 
and uh, yeah this is the only fish that have bit oh my god <laughs> well it's better than catching nothing at all <laughs> I seriously thought I was gonna get skunked Whew, thankfully I didn't all right little dude thanks for biting the drop shot see ya Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go, he's gone. You know how I mentioned to y'all in my outro that I've had some really tough and boring ass days of fishing? Well, today is a perfect example of what that looks like. You know, I've been fishing for uh, three and a half hours, maybe four, and I've only caught one tiny little dink and it's just been really tough i like i said earlier i've spotted a couple nice ones but they just got spooked real f easily and it didn't matter what i threw at them they just wouldn't take the bait because they knew that uh that i was there you know they knew that i was near them so they weren't going to be a dumbass and take the take the lure so it's just been it's been one hell of a grind today is definitely one of my toughest days yet out on the water <sighs> I I don't know I don't I don't know I am absolutely baffled I can't figure these fish out I feel like I've said that a million times already but it's true I just really cannot figure these fish out they will not take anything you know, and I am literally almost dead sticking the drop shot and even that is not working. And that's how you know when the drop shot is not working, it's uh, going to be a really, 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 really bad day. And the funny thing is I expect this kind of uh, pattern in the winter when the fish are finicky they are lethargic and they just don't want to really do anything you know but it's still fall it's early november today's about 78 degrees fahrenheit the water i don't know i don't have a graph or anything like that so um i'm gonna guess anywhere between 60 to 65 degrees it's definitely chillier the water feels cooler so that may explain why these fish have shut down essentially they don't want to bite anymore because you know it's the water's getting cooler and the delta bass specifically the the delta bass they do not eat much of anything when the water when the water temps start to drop uh, because they are florida strains so you know they like warmer waters and uh, yeah, that probably is the only explanation as to why these fish are being so fucking wary and, and finicky. Ah, it's just brutal, man. Brutal. Nothing I can really do except to keep on fishing. That's about it. I'm going to start heading back to the launch ramp because I want to be back by the launch ramp before it's dark because... I just watched a really scary ass Netflix horror show. It's called The Haunting of House Hill, uh, Hill House. <laughs> um, and it's a really great show. If y'all haven't watched it, I'd highly recommend y'all to go, to go check it out. It's a really, really, really well done show. Really well, well written. God, I cannot speak English today. And um, the, ca the, the cast is phenomenal. And uh, it's just such a good, yeah, it's such a good show. I don't want to spoil nothing. Just go watch it. If y'all are not into horror movies or horror shows, then obviously it's not going to be for you. But for any of y'all that are really into horror shows and uh, whatnot, please go check it out. Do yourself a huge favor. Go watch it if you haven't watched it already. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to shut the f*** up now and keep on fishing. There's one. Yep. This is a bit better. Oh yeah. Better. Definitely better. 
This one looks like a little keeper. There we go. Not too shabby. A little fat football. He wouldn't bite the jig. I tried throwing the jig around here a couple times and uh, nothing. But then threw the drop shot and bam. Uh, definitely tells me something. <laughs> They're keying on finesse. That's for goddamn sure. Woo! Finally, look at that. Pretty looking fish. Woo! Nice. All right, little chub chub. Thanks for the fight. See ya. Just hooked up on another one. Woo! There we go. Forgot to hit the record button when I set the hook on this fucker. This coo is coo. Somebody's firing off again right now. <laughs> as long as they don't try to hit me, I'm chilling. All right, come on. Let's get this hook out. There we go. Ooh. Another little dude. Pretty bass. See ya. Just got a bite. Please commit to it. it. Looks like he is committing to it. This one. There we go. There we go. Oh, little guy. Little dude. But that's cool. That's cool. <sighs> Come here, buddy. Chill out, buddy. Oh my God. He has a hole in his mouth, a big hole in his mouth. That means somebody probably hooked him pretty damn recently. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for the fight. See ya. There's a bite. Oh. oh. Tried to set the hook too early. God damn it. Must be a little one. But you know what? <laughs> it's so tough today that even a little one gets me super hyped. Like, <laughs> oh, what a day, y'all. What a day. Oh, there we go. He bit it again. And another gunshot just went off. I swear to God, one of those dudes end up shooting me. Oh, and he plopped off. Well, that was a little one anyways. But... I was gonna say, if one of those dudes, or sounds like there's a woman there, if any of those people, uh, if any one of them shot me, I would take the fucking gun and shove it up their ass and uh, pop a couple holes in them. You know what I mean? Pop, 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 up the ass. That's right. Thug life, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm obviously kidding for those of y'all who can't tell the difference between sarcasm and um, non-sarcasm. <laughs> There's one. There we go. Right at the end of the day. Skinny keeper. Nice. Chill out, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Oh. This actually might be my longest fish of the day. Probably 13, 13 and a half inches long. Not very fat, but definitely, uh, definitely long. <laughs> yeah, dope looking fish. He looks a little bit deformed, maybe a little bit malnourished, but uh, yeah, I'm not a bass doctor or anything or a bass expert, so. I don't know for sure, but still a cool looking fish. I right, buddy, bud, bud, thanks for the fight. See ya. There's one. Ooh, that's a nice one. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. This one, this one is the nicest one of the day. Come here, Bubba. Woo! That's how I like to end my day, son. 
<laughs> oh, yes, sir. There we go. Been grinding all day. <laughs> oh, and it finally paid off. This one ain't a big one. Sure as hell ain't a monster, but it is still a nice one, especially for today. My God. <laughs> finally, at the last minute, I catch me a nice fishy. Makes me very, very happy. Happy, happy, happy. Because I'm happy. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to that song, but I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. All right, will this hook come out? I would get the pliers, but again, it's in the back and I'm lazy. I am lazy. If I can get this hook out without getting the pliers, I'll be happy. <laughs> All right, come on. There we go. Got it out. Oh, there we go, son. Nicest fish of the nicest fish. <laughs> nicest fish of the day. Right at the last minute. Oh, look at these chunk of monkey. Got some beautiful ass colorations. You know, absolutely gorgeous. Woo! Fucking dope. All right, Biggie. Thanks for the fight. Perfect way to end the day. Ready to swim off, bud? There we go. Oh, he's about to jump up. He's about to jump up. There we go, son. Now he's gone. <laughs> Peace out, dude. All right, folks, I'm back home now, and that basically sums it up for this video. The bite was extremely fucking slow today, and a lot of my honey holes were no longer productive, so it was really tough for me to be able to locate and catch these finicky bass. And honestly, I didn't think I was gonna catch anything today because of how tough it was for the first three hours, two to three hours. And it was just, it was absolutely brutal. I feel like I've used that word like a million times or said that word a million times in this video. But it really was tough, it was brutal. It was just, oh, it was just absolutely stressful for me. I just, were, I was super worried that I was gonna get skunked again. And I, I didn't wanna get skunked. You know, the thought of me getting skunked really put me in a bad, stressful mood. And then finally, I caught a little dink on the drop shot, and that gave me a little bit more confidence. And then later on, I caught some more fish and capped it off with a solid 14 to 15 incher. And that's usually like an okay fish for me, but for today, it was the biggest one I caught today, and I was super fucking proud to have caught that fish. I really have no clue as to why these fish were being so goddamn motherfucking finicky today. I mean, I spotted a couple nice ones, but they just would not take any of the baits that I threw at them. They just wouldn't eat anything. They weren't interested in jack shit. I spoke to a couple of guys on my way back to the launch ramp, and they told me that it was tough as f for them too. So, you know, it is what it is. And honestly, I'm just glad that I managed to beat the skunk. Now, before I sign out, there's one more thing that I want to talk about, which is my uploading schedule. I know I have not been consistent whatsoever these past couple of weeks. And even after taking a hiatus or coming back from taking a hiatus, I still failed to get back on track to get back on my regular uploading schedule. And I really, really, really am sorry about that. I feel so ashamed of myself and I am honestly genuinely pissed at myself for not being able to stay on track. And I know I might've let some of y'all down. I probably did. And you know, I just really wanna say that I'm super sorry. I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. This isn't some fucking bullshit where you know I pretend to say that I'm sorry when I'm really not no I'm truly fucking sorry I mean it 100% and um, just have some faith in me I will get back on track it's just been a rough couple of weeks for me lately and I promise you 
that uh, next week I will be back on track. I swear on my life, I will be back on track. If I'm not back on track next week, then y'all can hit me up with your addresses and I will slide over to your house and give you a very nice hand job Indian burn style B <laughs> Oh my god, that shit would f***ing hurt. <laughs> All jokes aside though, I am really f***ing sorry. So, trust me, I will be back on schedule. I will be back on schedule. I swear I will be. Now with that being said, it's time for me to sign out. So I will see you ugly sons of bitches on Wednesday. Peace out, motherfucker.